Hey guys, this is MB from AndropChance.com and in this video I will share uh, MBA betting model projections for today, for Monday. Uh, I will also share one interesting thing, uh, expected points uh, uh, by players. So if you bet on proposition bets, uh, you can uh, use uh, this betting model and numbers uh, as one part of your analysis when you uh, make proposition bets. Uh, so let's go to the projections today. So what I'm doing, uh, it is still uh, it is still uh, start of the season. So I always recommend to wait a little bit more games, at least five six games, uh, to get a little bit more statistics. But I will share uh, these numbers with you, so you can um, you can use them as part of your analysis, or you can also get this betting model. Uh, uh, you can get the link below in the description, or you can join our betting masterclass. Uh, where I share all my betting models that I also use. Uh, so, uh, after I prepare this uh, spreadsheet uh, with the lineups uh, and uh, uh, the stats, then I simply select the team. So, uh, today we have, for example, Brooklyn Nets against Charlotte Hornets. Uh, I also check the lineups because the lineups, as you know, are predicted. Sometimes uh, there will be injuries, some players will not play and this should be taken into account as well. Uh, so we have Brooklyn Nets against Charlotte Hornets. Uh, bookmakers odds are currently plus one on Charlotte. Brooklyn Nets min uh, minus one. I have Charlotte uh, as a home favorite, uh, but I would uh, like to look for seven point difference, but I think there is uh, some value with Charlotte to beat uh, Brooklyn Nets at home. Uh, I'm not focusing on totals, so I will no totals focus, okay? Uh, I will not focus on totals. I don't focus on totals in baseball, in NHL, uh, and I, I also didn't uh, focus on NBA, okay? Uh, and this is how I then copy paste it here so i have all organized here uh so those are the games we have brooklyn nets against charlotte as i already mentioned there's i believe small value with charlotte at least based on players they will play today uh chicago bulls against indiana based on my projections indiana should be minus seven they are minus three so there is small value with indiana as well uh, then we have detroit pistons against oklahoma i have them at minus five Bookmakers minus six. I don't think we have a value here. Boston, Washington. Uh, I have Washington at plus 5.5. Bookmakers have them at plus 10. So maybe go with underdog with Washington to cover this spread of plus 10. Then we have Minnesota against Atlanta. Atlanta. Uh, I think we have some value with Atlanta plus 2.5. Uh, Portland against Toronto. Uh, my line more than... 12 points, bookmakers 8.5, so maybe small value with Toronto. Uh, then we have Golden State Warriors against Pelicans, uh, minus 3.5, bookmakers minus 4. So as you see, uh, the lines are basically the same. Uh, Miami Heat against Milwaukee Bucks, minus 5, minus 5.5, the same spread. Dallas Mavericks against Memphis Grizzlies, I have this game as close to even game. Bookmakers favor a little bit uh, more Dallas. Uh, but I don't think there is uh, a lot of value in this game. Utah Jazz, Denver Nuggets. I have Denver Nuggets at minus 11, bookmakers minus 8. So uh, based on these projections, they might cover this number of 8. So, uh, But it is still only 3-point different. This is basically one 3-pointer. So it is still close uh, to my numbers. Orlando Magic, Los Angeles Lakers, minus 2.5, minus 2. Okay, so it is also the same. So, based on my projections and based off, based on the information we have, uh, I think the play of the day, at least based on my projections, would be Charlotte Hornets plus 1. Um, and maybe, maybe Washington plus 10, plus 10.5 if you can get it. Uh, maybe Indiana minus 3. So, those are 3 Okay, bets. Uh, this is four point difference, four point difference, uh, and the rest of the games are too close. Okay, and as I said, uh, I'm not uh, focusing on totals. Uh, and I will show you one more thing. Uh, let's say we use Dallas Mavericks against Memphis Grizzlies. I will paste it here. And here in the players' uh, proposition uh, tab, 
uh, I can check uh, predicted or expected points for each player. Uh, so expected possessions, I also calculate how many minutes they will play uh, in the game. Of course, all of those are predictions. Uh, if you have different lineup, of course, you will also get a little bit different numbers as well. Uh, so I use one side where I take uh, players' lineups, those are predicted lineups, but we also never really know who will play um, in the game. This also depends on the coach, on the strategy, on the tactics, uh, on the court. But those are expected points. So Luka Doncic is very hot. Expected points uh, close to 34. Uh, so I don't know what is the total uh, on this. Curry earning 26.51 points. And here with uh, Memphis Grizzlies, I have Desmond Bain, uh, 27.69. And Jaron Jackson's uh, two uh, players with most expected points. Okay, so this is very useful if you uh, use uh, or if you bet player proposition, it can give you uh, another perspective. I will show you for one more game. Uh, let's say, I don't know, uh, let's say, I don't know, Golden State against Pelicans. Okay, so let's check the players. Steph Curry, 24 points. Uh, Brandon Ingram, 25. Uh, so uh, those are my uh, predicted uh, scores for this game. Okay. Uh, so that's it for me today. Uh, whatever you decide to take, I wish you good luck. And always remember, never blindly follow anyone. Uh, not me, not others. Uh, make your own strategy. Focus on yourself. Uh, do your own analysis. And I believe that this is the best way if you want to win in the long run, okay? So thank you for watching.